if you love pizza then definitely this is the recipe for you because today i'm going to be showing you a very easy recipe that you're going to enjoy at home while making your pizza yeah <laughs> it is that easy and of course this recipe is going to be easy and straightforward i'm going to start by showing you how to make your pizza dough so i have flour you can check out the quantities in the description down below together with other videos so i'm going to start off by adding my yeast in my water together with the sugar then i'm going to stir in using a spoon then i'm going to let this sit for five minutes so i'm going to put this aside then in my bowl I'm going to add my flour. And one teaspoon salt. Then I'm going to use a whisk and combine the salt with the flour. My yeast mixture is ready and I'm going to add this in my bowl. Then I'm going to use my wooden spatula to mix the yeast together with the flour. You can use your hands also. Then I'm going to go in with my hands. Then I'm going to make sure that all the flour in the bottom of the bowl is incorporated with the rest of the dough. Then I'm going to knead for about one minute. If the dough is too sticky, you can add little bits of flour as you need. So my hands are wet. I'm going to try and fold the dough. So you lift the dough and tuck like that. Lift and tuck. You make sure that your hands are wet. So I'll add a little bit of oil. Make sure that the entire surface of the dough is coated with the oil so that it doesn't dry out. Then I'm going to pick a towel, a kitchen towel, place it on top. Then I'm going to place in a warm area. As we wait for our dough to rise, I'm going to be showing you how to make our pizza sauce. For my sauce, I'm going to be using a couple of ingredients and here I have salt, cooking oil, one teaspoon sugar, oregano and garlic powder, two tomatoes and one onion. So before I make my sauce, I'm going to be making my bacon because that is what I'm going to use to top my pizza. So on medium heat, I'm going to add a little bit of cooking oil, just a little bit, not too much, like half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of cooking oil, then I'll pick my bacon and I'll place them in my pan. So I don't want my bacon to crisp enough. You know I love crispy bacon, but for today, for my pizza recipe, I'm not going to crispen it up. I'm just going to cook it through. So be free to use any toppings that you have in the house, whether it's from sausages to minced meat. <laughs> To mushrooms just feel free feel free so my bacon is ready as you can see the edges are crispening up so I'm going to put this aside in a paper towel to drain excess oil then I'm going to add the next
So my second round is ready. I'm going to put this aside. And it's looking absolutely good. So I'll keep this aside, turn off the flames. And now it's time to make our sauce. So I have my blender over here. So I'm going to add my tomatoes and onions in there. Then I'm going to add about a quarter cup of water to help us blend. Then I will cover and blend. So I have my blended tomatoes and onions. I'm going to add this in the same pan with the bacon grease and beets. <laughs> to this, I'm going to add my oregano and garlic powder. Sugar. We are adding sugar because we want to reduce the acidity of the tomatoes and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So before it's ready, I'm going to test if the seasoning is perfect. Then I'll stir this in. For the flames, I'm using medium high so that it can help me cook the tomatoes until reduced. So it's going to take about one to three minutes, depending on the amount of tomatoes you're using. So my sauce is starting to thicken up, as you can see. So I'm going to use my spatula and stir. So also I'll check the seasoning. I'll add just a tiny little bit of salt. Like a pinch of salt. <laughs> then I will stir in and I will let this continue thickening up for about one minute. My pizza sauce is ready and it has thickened up to a very nice paste. So I'm going to turn off the heat and then I'm going to check on my dough. Is it pizza or it's pizza? <laughs> I don't know the difference. Sometimes I call it pizza, sometimes I call it pizza. You can tell me in the comment section how you pronounce pizza or pizza. <laughs> As I wait for my sauce to cool, I'm going to check on my dough and it's looking amazing and it has doubled up in size. So I'm going to pick my flour then i'm going to scoop out a little bit of flour just a little bit of flour put this aside and now i'm going to punch using my hands sprinkle a little bit of flour in my wax surface then i'll transfer this to my wax surface so I'll fold in my dough like this as I move around. As you can see, it's very elastic. Flour my wax surface again. Tuck it in the bottom side as you move around. So I'm going to put one aside, then I'm going to work on one. Repeat the same process. You tuck in. Then I'm going to shape it in a ball. So I have two dough, so I'm going to use one for this recipe. Or you can use both. <laughs> Okay, we are making pizza in a pan in the oven. <laughs> so that is the recipe I'm going to be showing you today. So I'm going to pick my cast iron pan. Cast iron are very good for baking. 
Now, this is the fun part. I'm not going to be using a rolling pin. What I'm going to use is my hands. So I'm going to press on my door. Then I lift this up and place it in my cast iron, like that. So I'm going to cover this for around 20 minutes and place it in a warm place again. It's been 20 minutes and my pizza dough has doubled up again in size. Before we start, you're going to preheat your oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes just before we start assembling so that when you are done you just pop it in the oven as you can see it has doubled up again so i have my pizza sauce mozzarella that i've cubed uh, a few slices of green capsicum and bacon that is what i'm going to be topping up my pizza with i'm going to start with my sauce that i made earlier and it has already cooled then I'll add this in my pizza dough and then I'll use my spoon to smear the to smear the sauce you can add as little as you want or as much as you want <laughs> the sauce makes the pizza very delicious the next I'm going to top it with my bacon slices like that actually you can tell your children to help you to assemble your toppings then my green capsicum then next i'm going to add a very generous amount of mozzarella into our pizza dough because I want my pizza to be to have that cheese pull so I'm going to add my mozzarella in my pan and if you love pizza can you comment down what's your favorite pizza as we wait for our oven to preheat I'm going to place my pan on my stove top then I'm going to use medium flame to heat up my pan because I'm using cast iron Cast iron usually take a little bit longer to heat, to heat up because they're heavy duty. So this will take about one minute, yeah, on medium heat. So now that I've preheated my pan, I'm going to turn off the heat. Then now I'll pop this in my oven. So you'll set your timer for 20 minutes and after 20 you'll enjoy your pizza. My pizza is ready and I'm so excited because oh, it's looking so cheesy and the crust has that golden brown color and the smell, oh my god, the aroma is so amazing. So I hope you follow my recipe and make yourself pizza.